Hello! We're very nervous. This is our first live, isn't it? Yeah. So it's just unedited, that's the problem. That, that was the, um... <laughs> so um bear with us and can you hear us all right? Because I had a few issues when I was setting it up. So I didn't know whether um yeah, we are breaking it, Bob. <laughs> so um we're gonna try yeah. our best to get through as many of the questions as possible and just shout out if you want to. Sounds okay. Question. That's good. Oh, Thank that, you. That's good because yeah, we had an issue with that when we went and live we on it. someone else's channel, yeah. didn't we? So you can hear us, you can see us. Unlucky for you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so because I put the Facebook on yesterday, this live on yesterday, we did have a couple of comments that went on yesterday, but now I can't find them. So I took a screenshot of them. Hmm. So the first comment... I forgot they don't really talk to us. They don't talk back. <laughs> <laughs> it's dead weird. Like, we have to make to it, we have, we have to like, so... Yeah. So the first question was from Brian Warbrick, and it was, how on earth do you keep up your enthusiasm when working seven days a week? Resting the mind is as important as resting the bones. Can you all ever relax and take it easy? We, we never have relaxed, have we? No. We're no, not. we always like to be doing something, don't we? Yeah. But we have from the beginning, we've always said we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have Sunday off. Someone didn't put the phone on silent. <laughs> no, that, that says ship happens has gone live. <laughs> 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 <Sorry. laughs> so we've we've always been active people and yeah. we've always been um on the go and we, we can't we can't just like sit there and put our feet up no we've never been into like going out to the pub and stuff like that it's mm. always been like outdoor activities mm. so we've never really stopped obviously we are working a hell of a lot more now than what we used to because well, it's, like having, it's time, like having two jobs now isn't it? it's like so, having two full-time yeah, jobs like... because we are working all week on our day jobs and mm. um, obviously we're at the boat all weekends yeah. and a day in the week and then I've also got all the editing, which it takes me quite a while because I'm a novice. Yeah. <laughs> so, You're getting quick. You're getting but quick. we've we've decided as a family, we can't let it overpower and run our lives. No. And you guys know at the minute we film at the boat at the weekend, and the video you see on the Friday is what we've filmed the weekend before. So yeah. we like to stay quite relevant. But I've said to Simon to allow us to be able to still post videos every Friday but be able to have family time. We're going to try and get a couple of weeks advanced in the videos. You know, just sort of give, yeah. us, give ourselves like a two-week sort of breather where I'm not panicking going, we need to edit this video before it goes out. So Friday's video is going to be a Simon solo. I have yeah. a little rant on the end, but yeah. And then the okay. next week is going to be what we did last week because we're going to watch the bike race on Friday. So we are having That's a night away. That's meant to be in, by the way. Meant to be in. So he's so, going to stand there being all... Right. Oh, I'm not going to crash. No, he's not going to crash. So that's a bonus. Right, let me try and get back up to the top. Bear with me. Um, so, yeah, we basically have Sundays off to catch up with housework and stuff shopping, like that, and shopping, all, all of the normal live stuff. Yeah. But then in the week, we do a lot of research, don't we? When we're not, we're not at the boat, we're always... I try and do one thing about the boat every day. Yeah, And as so, you just know as well, if you are in our Facebook group, I'm quite active yeah. on that all the time. So if you're not in it, pop over. Yeah. Um, so Thomas Sheets, watched all of your videos, really enjoying the contact, uh, content, can you speak? Uh, we live not too far from SV Seeker no, and we are planning to go on the launch in August. We love SV Seeker. And I would love to go to the launch. I'd love to go to the I'd launch. love to go and help him, but we obviously He's live, never finished now, isn't he? We, we live in the UK, don't we? So... Yeah. Uh, James, good afternoon from a very warm and sunny Sweden. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you. Your films have kept me sane in uncertain times. Keep living the dream. Thank you so much, cool. James. And it's so nice to know nice to that yeah. we're helping people. Yeah. Uh, John Acton, um, can you explain the difference in the electrical requirements? Between what? As in... Well, we okay, have yeah, 12 we, volts. We, yeah, we, we have 12 volts. So... A lot, a lot of systems, the majority of systems, especially on like large vehicles and stuff like that, have 24 volts. Basically, in DC systems, you get like a lot of voltage drop. So, because it's just 72 feet, primarily it's 24 volts. Yeah. But then some of our systems, like our security systems and stuff like that, are actually 12 volts. And the winch. The winch is actually 12 volts. Still haven't probably got my head around that yet, but yes, it's 12 volts. And then obviously, we put in the solar panels and the big Victron unit, which is an inverter charger. 
So yeah. we get 240 volts through that, which obviously yeah. runs me hoover quite and a lot. Kettle. And the kettle. And my grill. And the grill. And, <laughs> and the, the oven. oven. And the everything else. All the, the, the Alexis and stuff yeah. like that are all 240 volts. Yeah. So we, we are quite heavy on the two. And power tools. Yeah. So, but the only thing we leave on when we're off the boat is the 12 volt. And the, yeah. Because that... There's, um, there's a couple of you know, 24 volt systems live, but yeah. Um... Someone's just sent us twenty five dollars. That just that just blows my mind. Yeah. You don't have to. You really, really don't That's, have to. It really overwhelms. Yeah. Us. It's, it's just like I touch on it in the next video on yeah. Friday, but we're not used to getting handouts, stuff or not, and and we haven't done it like when mm. we started the YouTube. You all know we didn't expect. I don't even know how many people we've got on this right now. Three hundred and sixty eight. <laughs> I thought about ten of you just watched, to be honest. <laughs> um, so you all, these absolutely just blow our minds, okay. and it's it's quite hard for us to process, isn't it? Yeah. And you know, and everyone's so nice and so generous. Yeah. Alana. <laughs> so Alana yeah, she is. Thank you very much. Um, right, let me get back to some questions because you know us, we just go off on a tangent. So if we go off on a tangent, just shout at me on the chat. Mm -hmm. Right. Steve Robinson has said, why or why would you want to take up the teak decking on the bow? Right. The teak decking on the bow is, isn't teak. It's not teak. It's, <laughs> it's, it's um, a roco. Apparently, but well, we've, we've, we've only found just out found out the other day from but previous owner. Underneath the teak is... The roco. The only, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Underneath the roco is plywood. Yeah. And there's about... No, there was plywood. There was plywood. It, there's yeah. about a mill underneath the deck. So when we're walking on that deck, we have to walk. Very, very, very careful. No, we don't because the Oroco is actually in fantastic condition, but that, that's basically half inch. But obviously, because it's a big span, it, it, you can you can feel it. So, compress, but... and there is areas of the of the deck that has raised. So we know mm -hmm. once we take it up, we won't have enough of it to put back down because we need to take it up because the plywood underneath is wrecked. Oh, and, and also, I want to use the bow as quite a heavy duty area, don't I? So we Do want it heavy duty. So, so our plan was we want it. We want to salvage as much as we can. So we yeah. want to save that wood. So it's like, right, we won't have enough to put back there. Mm. So let's move it to the small area at the back and put it on. Yeah, we want to make we want to make the after end really pretty. Really, yeah, nice, really nice. Like, you know, like a nice sort of family area and a nice yeah. nice place to have guests and stuff like that. And then that leads us quite on to, I've read this comment, where is it? Robert Whitaker, have you two thought about getting one or two monkey bags for the deck <laughs> to use for when you go and shop and back and forwards? So... You already has, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I've got like a Honda. Well, so I've actually sold it. You sold it as fun. Um, a Honda C ninety, which I potentially could have actually rode all the way around the deck, which would have been. <laughs> so Simon, has I've, all... got, I've got one. I've got a little pit bike, haven't I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, come, yeah. yeah. So you know what, Simon? He'll do something stupid. Um, what? Ride it up to big one. A little ramp and stuff. Yeah. That's right. Into the abyss. Do you think this will be live from a dry dock? So we I've touched the dry dock situation over so many so many times, but she is getting lifted. She is getting lifted, right? Yeah. At the minute, we do not want to move her because well, we know structurally she isn't sound. No, she would she, she would make move. the trip, but yeah. I wouldn't like to pick her up. Yeah. But then because also there's areas that I know that need to be yeah. need to be repaired. But we've also got the issue is we're only there a day and a half a week mm. and to put it out of the water is yeah. like two thousand pounds for a lift and two hundred and fifty pounds a week. So we yeah. haven't got the time to go right. Let's stop work and go in the dry dockyard and get it all done. And we need manpower. We as haven't well. and when once one yeah once she's on the hard, we wanted to smash. But we need like our mm. funds to build up to be able yeah. to go. Right, we'll put in a dry dock and we'll we'll stop work for a couple of months or whatever, and we've got the money to put into it that she needs. At the minute, we'll take her on a dry dock. We haven't got the time and we haven't got the money. Well, so it just consume our, our funds. Yeah. yeah, but Both. we can do so much where she is. Where she yeah. is. Yeah. So we're going to try and do as much as we can where she is. So that one answers that one. Um, da -da 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 -da. Hello, hello, everyone. Oh, these are all just lovely. Um, Definitely worse. You just keep chatting, I don't know. What do you want to talk about? Simon is a cutie. What do you want to talk about? Simon's a cutie. Is that a female? <laughs> no, no, it's from <sighs> Hen. 
<laughs> and he loves <laughs> he loves his silliness. Simon is dead funny and you will get to see more of his sense of humour and he's really, really dry. And so you've got to like sometimes people I'm can take him the wrong way. You know, but no, one's really no one's got your jokes. He's he's a pure dad jokes at times and stuff. <laughs> um hi Raymond from Manchester. Um hi Raphael. Right, there's just loads of you. I'd, I'd love to say hello to every single one of you, but we'll be on all night. Um, where's the first place you want to go and the boat's movable? What, as in when she's, when she's repaired? When she has? When, uh, she's, oh. when she's finished. I'm going to say that question is probably when she's finished. Okay, because obviously when she's movable, she's going to be going to a dry boat. She's going to be, yeah. when she's <laughs> going to be lifted. But yeah. after that, our biggest priority is to do the D-Day crossing. The anniversary. I would. That is just like, that will be... So that's the only goal we've got with the boat for future usage, isn't it, at the moment? Yeah. yeah so, that's, that's what's keeping us going. I keep watching yeah. videos and all sorts of stuff. And it'd be, and we're, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, I've just Just, just imagine it, though. All, all the boats from, like, you know, yeah. everyone's going. It'd be so emotional. I, I think that'd be, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Your I'm campers like, look good. You should plug it. Creation campers. <laughs> We've got we're too space. busy anyway. Too busy. Don't phone us. <sighs> we're too busy. At we haven't moment, got any any spaces moment. for the summer. We are chocker. Um, one of the very early questions was like, how do we manage and how do we? At the moment, we're struggling to cope with work. The phone is just not stopping. Yeah. And it's just like. Yeah, it's just mad. And everybody wants a van. Yeah, because of COVID, everyone wants a van. Yeah. Uh, are you going to get it out of the water and strip the paint off? We're going to try and do because she mm. is a. I will put some photos up on the Facebook if you want to pop over. Because like Chris commented today saying I didn't realise how out of the water she was. So mm. when when at low tide, we've got access to sort of 80% of the hull. Yeah, it is it? So we are gonna try and pretty the bottom up after we've done the, the works we need to do. Yeah, it's a summer job that we want to do painting. So obviously mm. we're trying to plan it to go. Because it all needs scraping back, and I don't want to pollute any environment. I want to, every yeah. every bit of paint that we've we get sort of up. We've been developing like a big sheet we can sort of push, scrape, scrape, scrape. It all lands on the sheet. We then roll the sheet up, and then yeah, sort that. Out. But, but then if we can get a crew down to help us with that, yeah. So everyone's got their own section to paint. Yeah, we can have like a competition. Yeah, <laughs> and then <laughs> and, and then we can get the kids out sweeping up, you know, hoovering up and, and yeah. brushing up because I do not want one flake of paint going. No. No. on any area do you know but, what i mean but also there is like potentially depending on the tides there's potentially like a week where the water doesn't even get to it yeah so we but have like, got so, time to do it yeah. so didn't bother with hair and makeup Gemma. no <laughs> <laughs> right. it was that i like him peter trip yeah, yeah it was. <laughs> right simon's been home he's had a shower he's all yeah, fresh you tell. i'm still in my work clothes with my work boots on uh, oh, nice look. Have you been to work today? I have been to work today. Did you fall over or something? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Skyving on Sunday, yeah. I'm working, can't watch, yeah, okay. Catch you later. Um, so good to see you live. How are you? Alana, we are good. We are oh, good. I've been a bit nervous yeah, about doing nervous. this. I don't know why. I don't know. I think it's a fact that That's if weird. you say something stupid, you can't edit it out, can, can you? <laughs> No. Oh. Right. Sorry. I'm, I'm literally, Joe, thank you so much for the contribution. Uh, love you guys. Love what you guys are doing. Keep it up. Uh, loads left to do. Don't give up no matter what the, days, the nutters say. We're learning to we're the try. Nutters. And, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Right. Excuse me for anyone who's done this super chat thingy. I'm new and I'm still like looking back at all the other questions. I will get there. Uh, Alana. Congratulations on your first live. We're excited to see this journey, where this journey takes you. And here, it's some for the water, yeah, gun, the water gun fund. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How often? Uh, well, water gun fund. Don't, because he's on eBay looking at fire trucks and stuff. To no, just I don't want the fire truck. Just the um, the what they call the monitor off the top, the big the big water cannon. Yeah, or the police riot things with the water sell cannons. You a riot, man. I don't know why. <laughs> you know, I'm like on eBay. Thanks, Joe, for the KFC <laughs> money. Kids will be happy. <laughs> um, so we've not done this for the money, have we? No, we, we haven't. Like we've done it just because loads of people ask us loads of questions, and really? it's nice just to sit and answer because everyone has 
wants to know different things. So that, that's why we've done it. All I can guarantee is that every penny goes straight into the boat. Do you know what we've, we've got? We've yeah. done it. Do you know everything that everyone's ever given us is 100% straight into the boat? Yeah. Um, what kind of treatment have you used on the wooden frame? Right. So we are planning now because there is an area in the hull, which you'll see on Friday's video, that we know really needs some quick attention. So we've decided mm. we're gonna we're gonna plow ahead and we're gonna fix the frames. Yeah, the frames and the beam shelf. We've got a good plan now. So you know, we asked you guys for some some good advice. We got some good advice. So you but, know, um, we sort of was like, do we sister them? But then I was like. This is some that are quite rotten, and I don't yeah, want to put nice woods next to rotten woods. Do you know what I mean? So we are we're going wood shopping this week, and we will be going white oak for the frames. Yeah. Um, we're just trying to work out at the minute because the frames they're not big frames. They're like uh, the inch by the two inches by inch and a half. Yeah, forty by fifty mil. But we were. <laughs> but I think the base league. Yeah. They're obviously measuring. Now we're quite lucky that the deck is really poorly. Because obviously you can you, slip them straight in. Yeah. So we're now working on making our own steamer. Just if we need a steamer, so yeah, we're not. We'd either like mm. we'll do it in full pieces and steam them because it's not that curved. No. It only needs a gentle little just if you get it stuck, that's probably yeah. Right. So or we'll like or we'll we'll split the oak frames in half, we'll put one in mm. and then we'll slide we'll, the other we'll one down we'll and we'll laminate, laminate the yeah. two oak instead yeah. of like using plywood or something like well, that the frame's coming out the frame's coming out and new one's going in simple as so for yeah. the next couple of weeks that's what yeah, we're prioritizing on the, the in the front end of the ship the pointy end the pointy end of the ship Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the bow gem. the bow yeah, yeah. you just know what my life my leg is great and do you know what he, he didn't she hasn't even complained about that you haven't complained about do that you know what ages. he didn't even give me five minutes off after I fell through the thing so what happened there <laughs> is you know the split the, the swim platform has got some holes in and we were that panicking about losing the tide we were like just get the rubbish off as quickly as we can, down, down. can. Uh. so he stood on a swim deck and instead of getting the ladder I lowered myself down thinking I'm just going to hit the swim deck but me, me well, there's a hole and I thought he'd like he was like guarding me down. He wasn't. So oh, no, that, I'd, that, that I just had his on <laughs> straight through the hole in the swim deck. Look no, she was like that far off it, and then just, like, she just went through it. Yeah, because I thought the floor must be here soon, <laughs> so I just dropped. But and yeah. then she just through the hole. I'm like, and then she said to me, "Why didn't you catch me?" <laughs> So, but, so it was literally get up, come on, we've got rubbish to move. So not even five minutes did he let yeah, me out. If you just keep going, when will the champagne party be to celebrate? It's probably been about ten years, Raphael, because that's probably maybe if we buy the bottle of champagne now, it'll be a vintage or whatever you call it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know we need to fix the railings because one of us is going to end up swimming in this year. I'm very railings. Um, are you building the areas of storm most, Mike? We did think about it, didn't we? You know, little trips over to the Isle of Man, put your bike in. I'm going to make it Gemma's idea. Oh, yeah, I know now. We need a big hatch, don't we? We do. <gasps> and a big lift, like a... Like the one like, in the van? Yeah, but like, what, F-35s come out of the top of you, like an aircraft carrier? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, there's 500 people on now, you know. Mm. I'm surprised you haven't scared them all away. I know. Do you know what? Oh, there's, Hold on. there's 519 people watching, mm. but only 188 likes. That's good, isn't it? Press the button. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> Go on, oh, there you go. We just have three more. Thank you. <laughs> not not pushing. Hey, it's going off. Oh, I'll check that. I've got a light there, so I have to keep moving to see how many are. Uh, oh, it's flying off. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's pure peer pressure, isn't it? I press the button. Press the button. Well, is any, is any, um... any more in, any more questions? Um, oh, God. Do you know what? James Simpkins. Wait, hello. <laughs> James, is, James is our testicle support. <laughs> The and James. <laughs> Stay positive, don't let negative. Yeah, okay. All right, you uh, can all read that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, go to the Bahamas, I'd love to. I'd love to. Do you think I'd make it there? I just don't think my stomach could make it there, you, you know? You'd do the fly over, wouldn't you? To be there. I keep jumping, I'm really sorry. I just don't know how to scroll through the comments. Oh, I can do it with two fingers like that. That's good, isn't it? 
Um, right, so I am a bit behind on the comments. I'm actually nine minutes behind on these comments. Right, you have to skim. You have to go. Gemma, uh, coming in yeah. Gemma, will you get to... Gemma, will you have to get Simon to walk the plank? Probably. Well, so there's a sail in the yabba on there. Where's sail in the yabba? No, it's not. It's no. something about... Some boat with it. You've also got me watching Sail and Yabba. Oh, Sail and Yabba, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, we get the the whole whole. The, there's no. There's, obviously, we're going to try and do as much of the death as we can where she is without her getting a dry dock. How often have you run the engines? Once. Once when we bought her because we want to give them a full service and make yeah. sure there's no crap in them before we. Well, contaminate them. I love engine. I am an engine guy. You know what I mean? And like I've been so tempted every, every we we can only really run the engines at high water. But when we've got high water, we've had more priority things to do, <laughs> like removing rubbish and stuff like that. I know they don't like sitting there for a long a long period, but I have I have rotated them. There's the the fine they're obviously not full of yeah. full of water or anything daft like that. Um but there will be some good engine run videos soon because yeah, yeah. That's that's our that's that's my. And I want to show for a GoPro go pro down and see the props yeah. training and stuff. Yeah. Um, I was a driver. <laughs> <laughs> Lars from Sweden. Uh, have you thought about fiberglass and the hull? No, because the hull is the, the strongest part on yeah. it. But we have thought about fiberglass in the front deck. No, yeah, that is what's going to happen. You're right, 100 because yeah. it'd just be a big cap there, and then mm -hmm. with new glass. Uh, John, I nearly bought Sarinza in the early 90s, met the owner, learned the story of her name. Yeah, it's very, very uh, great to see the boat back. Uh, sorry, I'm really slow at like reading and like. Just, just, they're just watching us now, are they? They're watching yeah. us staring at the screen, like reading comments. I'm so, so read, sorry. Like, it's good if it's not numbers. It's really <laughs> numbers <I'm thinking> <laughs> I really like watching your videos with me all the best. Oh, you're all great. Hi, Chris. Um, yeah, we can jolly paint and at the we're all, yeah. <laughs> Book of my camper van now. Yeah. Uh, did you, I'm so sorry. I'm like, I'm trying to like, just, I'm trying to find some questions. You mean you usually edit out the stupid stuff you say? <laughs> Sometimes. Well, I'm being a bit quiet today, so I can like. Because I can't edit. <laughs> be politically correct. <laughs> Keep it the great way. Uh, Shane, you still on your bike. We are at Alton this weekend, Gavin. We are we are now officially the sponsors of the Winner 100 Golden Era class. Yeah. So obviously Simon won that championship in 2019. Yeah. So I was like, since we're not racing, still let's get, sponsor the class. Still get our name. And still get our name. <laughs> <laughs> so That's as cheap as to sponsor the class to go racing. It is. Right? So come <laughs> over and see us at the weekends. We'll be yeah. there for like Friday. Um wow. Just an Simon is the tool. Simon, is the tool was that? Oh. <laughs> How is the tool migration going? Oh, you're shooting yeah, 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 yeah. I've, yeah. Got, I've got a few more heavies to move across, but we're waiting for some water. It's been dead low yeah. water on it for, for ages. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we are establishing a workshop now, which is which is pri primary for us really because the boat's big enough to have a workshop. Yeah. So once we get a workshop, you know, it's like you can do anything in your workshop and twice as fast. But when yeah. you go in the middle of a field with a, a little toolbox, it's, things take 18 yeah. times longer. It's so. just so much time just setting up to be able to do the jobs yeah. that we need to do. It's, it's just, really, it really is frustrating because... Yeah. We want to go and do the work. We want to get stuck in, yeah. but we're like, well, we can't because like we needed power, so that's why we had to sort the electricity. Yeah. Obviously, security, that is like, that's paid for itself already. Um, yeah. <laughs> literally now, it doesn't, we don't get any false alarms off no. the security, but... Quite often during the day, our phones will ping. If you get within twenty, Gemma panics. I like panic. That. I go, oh, the alarm's gone off. But you get within twenty meters of our boat, no, and we get it is, and we yeah. get a notification. So yesterday it was like we had three people surrounding our boat. With big cameras. But they all taking pictures. <laughs> but I'm, so I was like talking to them over the speaker. Can you put them on our Facebook page? Yeah, like, <laughs> right. Sorry, I'm so behind. You can keep. Come on, you um, can do this. There isn't really. Um, Carl's asked, "Is there a chance you could beach the boat somewhere?" Cheers. Cheers, beached to avoid lifting her out. At the minute, she's 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 anchored well. She's mostly out of the water. You know, we can get her eighty yeah. percent of the hull. Um, she's very well looked after. All the neighbours yeah, love her. We, and we know we know everybody around. Yeah, that so we're quite confident. Um, 
And the don't don't forget anybody hates us over. Oh, we are. Oh, um, I've spoken to this chap before from Lakeside Adventures. We have some oak trees felled and drying. Ooh, that might be interesting. Send me a message. Uh, send me an email. Oh, I've got your email, haven't I? Um, so there's something we're our naivety. We've been educated quite a bit, haven't we? On on. So we've on, had a price. On stock materials. You like when yeah. in our job we cut wood, but I call it plastic wood. It's just yeah, sort of like it's camper van wood. It's, it's not just, real wood. We basically it's sheet material, it's plywood. You know, like so. Yeah, we are slowly learning, yeah. aren't we? Which is good. But we we've got really knowledgeable uh, wood guys, friends, yeah, uh, who yeah. build like amazing, amazing furniture. Yeah. Um, Wind, winding house winding interiors. House interiors. Look, look His stuff. work is just. It's it's yeah, amazing. It's a dying art, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, he's a proper, yeah. you know, proper craftsman. And um, so we'd spoken to a wood yard last week, and mm. we've he, he gave us a price on the frames cut to our size that we need mm. them and stuff. But then when we went and sp spoke to a, a, a guy who looked oh, my hair does well. When we've yeah. gone and spoke to Ben today, he's been like, "Don't get it cut to the size you need. Just get, Just a, get big, a big slabs, and yeah. and we'll process it for you." Thank yeah, you so, so much, Glenn. These people just, 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 I just love you all. Um, da, 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 da. Here's Cardiff. It. Cardiff. We got, we, I'll, if you haven't, I always keep plugging the Facebook group uh, because it's lovely. But we got sent a huge, big map off Jerry and loads of little flags. So I've actually got it up in my summer house outside. So everyone can let me know where they're from and I'm putting all the little pinpoints on the map. This is so difficult because... It takes me ages because <laughs> my geography is crap. Yeah, but we've been too precise. <laughs> yeah, I have. I'm like, this is like, yeah. <laughs> So, um, whether you want to do it on this thread or pop over to the Facebook and do it on the thread that we've got in our Facebook group, let us know where you're from and I can add you to me a little bit. That'd book. be a good app, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I like create an app, I and everyone so can go I, and put a little pinpoint yeah, on. There you go, Mark because Zuckerberg. You can. Um, we're like we. You can have that. We've always been in our <laughs> little bubble, and we don't realise yeah, yeah. the reach that these videos are getting. So to see, actually, visually see where everyone's from, it's absolutely it amazing. And um, oh, thank you, Steve. So nice to see how you two, how well you two work together. It, we're so used to it, and I, I don't. <laughs> um. We've worked together for 12 years, mm. so we ha happily for two. <laughs> no, that's oh, no, that's marriage. Marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Old jokes, um, but no, we are we, we we are like the perfect team because, yeah, what Simon's bad at, I'm good at, and what I'm bad at, he's good at. Mm. So, together, there's nothing like we can't do, and it's like at the minute, we can overcome, can't we? We're, on yeah. this, on what's frustrating us about this boat project. Is that you guys haven't seen what we can do yet? No, you don't. Yeah, that's, you don't know the half I've of been, his genius. I've been thinking as well what what we've actually done to the boat. What percentage of the work we've done is actually going to stay? No, it's all it's just all temporary bodging at the moment. It's preparation, but yeah. sort of half an hour thinking about it can save an hour's work. Yeah, but we've been working for three months to save us four <laughs> months, basically. Yeah. I don't know. Do you know like so it's. Yeah, that's good. Uh, right, okay. Everyone's just just leaving lovely comments, um, but I can't really find any like questions. Um, think the project is fat. This is from Top Cat Judd. Yeah, think the project is fantastic. Looking forward to seeing the progress ahead. Have you guys considered doing a sponsor a plank frame and helping along the way? Now we we're so. Um, Oh, oh, we're having a battle with ourselves at the moment, yeah. and we are so confused because yeah. we we didn't expect this to happen on YouTube when we when we put the videos. Mm -hmm. And you just all know how like <gasps> we are about it, and the the fact that you're just sat here watching a live talking crap just blows yeah. my mind. And um, we expected to get twenty thirty views on all of our videos. So because yeah, that's our previous experience. Yeah. And um, we watched other seven <laughs> channels, we've seen Rise and Fall. I don't know. It's and a... We've always watched YouTube videos mm. and boat builders and stuff. We never realised how interactive viewers I've never, were. I've never even read any comments or I used to give a lot of thumbs up if, if it was a good video. Oh. You know, like, I think I watched all of Mads. Um, Sail Life. Sail Life is yeah. fantastic. 
all of well, I found Doug probably about two or three years ago. So I've actually gone back and watched all of Doug's videos. It's yeah. just like there's, there's so many cool. So, and then so everything we've always done has been led by all you guys, you know, because we were we I didn't know what Patreon was when we started, you know that, and you know Amazon wish list and buy me a coffee, all that was new to us, and. I don't want to put people in the position where they feel like they have to send us something or donate or something. Now, we haven't done YouTube for that whatsoever. We're, we're, we're proud people and we're sort of, we've never had anything and it's quite yeah. it's quite overwhelming just seeing little, like someone donating some money yeah, there. You're it's like, like, it's like, I go, oh my God, what like you, you, you know? And also, it's like, I, I, I hope she doesn't mind me saying this, but I've got friends whose father recently passed mm. and after passing she's he left nothing and it wasn't that she wanted any money but the, there was no money to pay for his own funeral and she was going through receipts and bank receipts and he sent thousands of pounds abroad yeah. to nigeria america and and so scammers who you know were chatting him up and and obviously you know he's a bit lonely and stuff but and it happens all the time. But that that's got happens. to me really yeah. bad. And it's yeah. like I don't want I don't want to put anyone in the position where they feel like they have to send money. I, 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 and it's like I get people going, I've got this for you, and I'm like, do you know what? Donate it to, to the yeah. homeless and stuff because I, mm. I don't know. I don't anyway, know whether it's, it's just like, like just be careful who you send money to and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I don't want anyone we, to we, to yeah. skint themselves, and it's like We've got we've got quite a few serial buyers. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Peter. Yeah. And Peter just I don't mind seeing his bank statements on, but just to make sure <laughs> you could afford this. <laughs> and I keep telling him, Peter, you don't, you know, and I'd say it to a few of the serial buyers, there's there's a lot of stuff here, and little random little stuff gets sent and it's it's so lovely and we like, but don't please don't send us anything if 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 you're gonna die next week and not leave anything to your family. Yeah. We don't need it. We've sold off like that's why Simon sold his At bike. At the moment, I've, li I've literally just sold my bike, so that's potentially potentially going to keep us going for the next couple of months at mm -hmm. least. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like yeah. at the moment we, we don't we don't. I'm not saying we're not going to be able to finish projects, but we don't we don't we don't need anything desperate at the moment, do we? Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like right. Phil Parker, I said hi, Jen. Um, you keep missing my question. I'm sorry. I'm crap. Just shout at me. Yeah, if you, um, if you miss it, just we pull it on. Yeah. Up, uh, as you guys strip out the boat, are you evaluating the layout, the future layout of the boat? Yes. Um, Big workshop. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously, I'm prioritising in my head what's going on upstairs. Yeah. And we've got an amazing guy, Kenneth, and I'm sure Kenneth is on here today. I saw him before yeah. when he was there. Uh, and every video that we put on, Kenneth sends us amazing, amazing drawings. So I spoke to Kenneth the other day and I was like, can you put this on paper for me? So I've done a little video and a little walk around. So he's they're on they're on our Facebook group, not the page on the group. Um, so we are, I am, and I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video on this next week. So in a week or two's time, I'll put it in the video and I'll just give you a little walk around as to as to what I'm thinking. Yeah, but things things evolve pretty quick, don't they? And yeah. change pretty quick. Yeah. And my uh, priority is I don't want to be shoved down in the old galley. The galley's going. The galley's going upstairs, upstairs, and I want the yeah. upstairs to be like the the middle room where we've got the mm. the the plank of wood up that he bangs his head up on every time. That's going to be like the kitchen dining room area because I don't want to be stuck down in the galley cooking. I want it to be a big family space. And then the top lounge where we slept in one of the other videos, that's going to be like the lounge and I want like a nice log burner in and stuff like that. Um, but we're just... Does the boat float at high tide? Yes, she does. At uh, spring tide? No, no, she floats uh, over what, like a nine metre? Gets over nine metre, which no, is dead eight, weird. Eight and a half, nine metres, I think, yeah. yeah. So sometimes we'll come to the boat and she'll be a bit like leany. Yeah, it's, it's, like that. it's so frustrating because of, <laughs> I, I alter the lines all the time on it, and it's so like, you okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then she always sits back down ever so slightly differently because because she's like a really round bottom hole. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just yeah. like. So I, I, I'm just I, keep, I keep thinking she's saying, "Don't say that." Don't say that. I'm just stroking. Back, back of the <laughs> so yeah, what was I saying there? I've been distracted twice. What about how she lands? But what was the question? Does she float? Does she float? Yeah, yeah she, she does. Um, yeah. She um, doesn't. She doesn't take any water. Um, 
now <coughs> sort of drying out a lot more because we've, because we've pumped out a lot of fresh water. I've noticed a tiny bit in the bow, actually. There's a, there is a tiny bit of water coming in, the, uh, well, high water. Is the... But no, I think it's because she's drying out a lot, if that makes sense. Yeah. But then, so it's a bit, it's a bit so, of a trick. Um, oh, the security systems just give us an alert. You keep talking. <laughs> Gemma usually panics like I go, oh, someone's at me phone. Um, oh, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. Hang on, sorry. Hold on, someone is at the boat. <laughs> Sorry. So this you can act. It's quite good. I don't know. It looks a bit. It looks so. Does probably so. Right, you need to go to the live thing. Okay, I'm going to have to play you back. Right, Steve, if you're there, go and go. And <laughs> what camera was it? God, we've got loads of cameras now. Just, just give him a little. This camera. is like real life. It is real life. But the alarm's going off and it sounds and so all the neighbours will be like that now, uh, which is really good. So the alarms will just keep going off because he's walking on the boat. Um, as this is a historical boat, are you not no, going to no. apply for, for funding? Hold on a minute. Can you step away from the boat, please? please. Right, he's been all told. Right. Oh, I said sorry. Oh, oh it's okay. Have a nice day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we all like sidetracked the live, the live stream. Oh, they're going away now. See how good that security system is? It's literally as soon as they come near, we get an alert and we can talk back. So there's now. Can you see it? Yeah. They're now walking. Just zoom in then. They're now walking away. Yeah, you can see it's over there. So it's absolutely, <laughs> it, it's worth its money. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and they don't know, you know, there you go. They're all walking away. So we're all saying back to the live. Sorry, there's my little heart going again. Um, I've just lost the question, but I've just read a question about have we thought about applying for, his, for a grant? Oh, okay. Now, if we were to... <sighs> No. But a lot of people have said this to me, and no, because if we were to want to put it back to original and have a little museum piece, then I'd probably say, yeah, well, we'll, I we'll, think we'll, we should we'll, get we'll, a historical grant. We'd hundred percent have to. Yeah, yeah. but because it. it's our it's our own personal sort mm. of holiday home, I don't think it's right that a historical grant people should give us money. Well, I think no, yeah, we'll say, yeah. Because why? Why it's should they pay for for our? Boats, and that's how I feel. You guys, do you know what I mean? You well, know what we're like. As well, I think they recommend particular boatyards to do the work and stuff like that. Which I want to do the boat. I want to build the boat. Does that make sense? Yeah. So like, I can sort of, yeah. So I, not that I don't want. I want. You can you can you can understand the, the struggle that we're going to do. The, the big company to profit from it. Does that make sense? Because they all just. Well, the thing is, is if you get a big historical grant. Do they think the boat, they own the boat then? And we don't want that, like... I don't know. It's a tricky one, isn't it? Yeah. I'm trying to learn English. You won't... Yeah, you won't, don't do it, you, you won't <laughs> learn it off me. So, um, I'm not... I'm not a scouser as a scouser is. No. Nah. But I do speak quite fast. Mm. Um, and I mumble. And Simon mumbles. <laughs> so, I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> and I get a lot of them questions. Um... But do you speak a different dialect? I do. I do a speak. Yeah. yeah. How's the hybrid skills. inverter keeping up? It, Very good. It is fantastic. The, yeah. It cost us a lot of money to put that electrical yeah. system in, but it's been so worth it. But we've actually <laughs> we, there has been a couple of times because I hammered the Hoover. Um, well, no, no. Okay, I remember we've, we've only got two two large AGM batteries, haven't we? Yeah. So we've got what four hundred forty amp hour batteries. So. The only time it's ever gone flat on, on us is when we've stayed overnight. Yeah. So then so we've, we've basically cooked our tea, we've cooked our breakfast, we've had umpteen brews. We've hammered the kettle. We've hammered the kettle. Mm. We've, we've had the hoovers running and all that sort of jazz, and then we've gone flat at the end oh. of the day, haven't we? Yeah. When you get a float, go to Hollyhead. Um, 
and you'll be in our boatyard. We'd love to see you. We'd love. We'll try to. Hold on. When you get to get a float, go to Hollyhead and see a three ten degrees. <laughs> <laughs> are you? Uh, I don't know. Are you in Ireland? I'm guessing. Um, my my. Oh my right, so, so from yeah. Hollyhead. You guys are entertaining the most. TV. Just things keep drawing. I, I don't think we're entertaining, but no. Sorry, son, you can come down. The kids are, like, hiding upstairs. And I've been like, do you want to come on the vi- on the video? And they're like, no, you're okay. My dad actually said to us early on, hey, it's really funny. I'm like, it wasn't meant to be a comedy. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be a comedy. Um, <laughs> paint the boat glow in the dark and call it a ghost ship. That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? Mm. Absolutely hilarious. Um, I do want to paint her, like, battleship grey, though. I think she's... What are you doing? Someone's just said, is the aspire behind me? So You're just trying to wind me off, <laughs> Michael. <laughs> um, so I'm going to touch a base which no one has actually. You make up your own question. I'm going to make my own question, not right? Because because no one's no, and I'm so surprised, and I might have missed it. Is I don't think anyone's asked this question. We get the amount of comments we get about a surveyor. <laughs> Ooh, it's a, it's quite a hard point for us at the moment. So yeah. the rest can't get a surveyor, get a surveyor, get a surveyor. Mm. So it got to the point where I was like, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do it. Everyone, keep everyone saying. keeps saying it. So last week I set myself on the mission, right? Let's get a surveyor. And um, <laughs> the spiders. And I got a surveyor, and I'd arranged for him to come out next month because that was the earliest he could do it. And then, so we're like, great, okay. Mr. Bean. And then he was like, he come back to me and he said, I've been watching a few of your YouTube videos and it, there's no point in me charging you the full price because it won't pass the survey. And we knew that. We know that. Yeah. But I will, for half price, come out and go over it for you if you want. So I was like, right, okay, great, that's fine. And two days later, I then get a message saying that you still all right to come and do it. And he's like, no. Change the circumstances, I'm not doing it. So we're at the mentality now where we're not stupid people. We know what needs to be done. So I've worked in a lot of industry, you know, like, yeah. and I know when something's broken, when something's yeah. not, it's going to fall apart. It's not, and that's why we're not moving it because yeah. I know it's just not. Yeah. Um, so it's like, would you take your car for an MOT if you knew it was going to fail? Yeah, three wheels on that. <laughs> so, well, this is a reliant, maybe. So but, maybe when we've done the structural work that we know mm. that we want to do to it maybe then and if there is any surveyors on here we're, we're just, just, gonna, we're just gonna have to, no they won't touch it unless she's out of the water yeah. but then yeah. so yeah it's a trick uh, one. i've started to watch the cruise ship aurora channel like you mentioned yeah I, I love the aurora and i'm hoping that one day we can Chris, go over Chris, Chris and is such an inspirational guy because yeah. Because we've had down times, haven't we? We've been like, we're, we're human. I mean, every, everybody gets down at some point. And then he's he's rang us up and he's ah, oh, forget the jackasses. And it's like, <laughs> just get on with it, man. And just he's like, not good at impressions, so don't be offended, I Chris. I thought it was quite good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so we're, we're doing it our own way now because... It's our boat. It's our... <laughs> uh, right. Do you guys work out the insurance? No. So because she can't pass a survey, no one will give us insurance. But I've tried. We've been. Being there, done it. I've tried everyone, and everyone's just like, no. So I've got the best insurance man in the world working on it at the moment. Is who you watching? I fail. <laughs> um, so he should come back to me this week. And because I keep getting loads of people as well going, can we come and help you on the boat? And yeah. we'd love that. But um, my dad, hopefully my dad's on here. Huh? Um, my dad, as a, as, a, as a solicitor, has been like, Gemma, you you are opening yourself up to someone hurting themselves and claiming mm. against you. And obviously, we haven't got the money for that. We're then all losing our house. And, <laughs> you know, we, the, the boat is not safe for people to be walking around. As you know, the, the bulwarks are all gone and you can fall off and fall through a deck. And it, it, it's a death I fell through the floor the other day. <laughs> completely my yeah. fault for not putting the floor back and, in proper you know, I've had a few people go well I'll sign a waiver legally a waiver's not worth the, pa- the paper it's written on um, anyway soon soon we'll have liability so, insurance so we're, yeah at least so 
we'll work on it because we'd love we'd love we'd love more help do you know what i mean well then insurance probably hence that's why we've got the best security system we can afford yeah. and like as you as you saw then does its you know job I mean? does its job we're not going to get vandalized we know the state of the boat we've put the electronics we've put in it is the high the high high end deal like, yeah i know um which um, i'm really proud of our the electronics maybe yeah private yeah. soul chartering what are you planning just bobby there's no plan and as you know, we just we wing everything. I just want to take all my friends out and all of you guys. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? There's, there's, yeah. There must be 20. There's there's hundreds of people who have given us donations, who have yeah. been our friends, who have been so supportive, especially at low, low points. We all, we've had low points in the boat. Yeah. And they've been so supportive. And I just want to have this, like, monster party somewhere. Yeah. That's <laughs> my main plan, is just to get everyone who's contributed involved, get them on board, you know, like, and... Yeah. So, you know, we want to give back to you guys of what you have put into us. And all our friends um, here, so, like... Start an LLC. A what? A limited, limited company. company. Try it. Try it. <laughs> Try it. I've had big conversations with me accountant this morning, um, not this morning, the other day, and it was basically, you can't do it because it's going to be 100% for private use and you're running a business at a loss and you can't prove that that boat is the company's and not your own personal and thing. Uh, and yeah. tax implications and I literally... I'm so stressed with it all because you guys are all, don't see that like behind the scenes stuff that we have to do. And, and, uh, hoops and um, getting nowhere. Yeah. So, over. so it is um the sand and outside's gonna be a mud fest. But you know what? No, it really stiffens up it's, the mud. It's yeah, drying yeah, up now yeah. and you might notice in on the next couple of videos stuff you don't really need wellies to walk over now. No, and bad. And the mud, it looks amazing because all the mud around it, all cracks cracking. and stuff. Even after high water, though, then, then, then the tide goes out and yeah. it's still hard. It's like, yeah. but yeah. you have to be careful, actually. There is some areas which are pretty soft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just swallow yeah. uh, it. Philip said, are you still planning on taking it to the med? <sighs> Gemma's not a massive fan of that idea. Do I do too. I still, I'm still working on it. <laughs> I just think of the fuel costs. <laughs> downhill. <laughs> but it's downhill, well, then you have to go like. Um, right, but, yeah. Oh, Dale says he's a surveyor, and if you could travel back to the UK, he'd do it for us for free. Okay. Can you do it by video call? <laughs> we'll just send you some photos. Um, Where do you live? <laughs> did you get your heating sorted? Yes. <laughs> Did you? No, I can make it work. It's, at, it's, it's at all moment, or nothing at the moment. At isn't the it? moment, it's pretty warm. Our next, the next time we need to get the heating sorted is when the water tanks go back in, and then we get we want hot water. Yeah. Um, but yes, heating works. I've got a load of um, a load of controls and room thermostats and all that sort of jargon to put in. But as you know, time it's not a massive priority, and I'm hoping we'll get like a lovely volunteer one day to go. I saw that. I figured out why the radiators didn't work because my, my uncle educated me. <laughs> David, on the radiator, you've got the thermostat. See, I didn't have a clue about this. But then you've got a valve, and I thought it was just an isolator valve, turn it off or on. But no, you meant to have, you meant to turn it all the way in, and then you wind it out two turns, and that's how you balance the flow between all the radiators. Anyway, did that, radiators sound. Cheers, Dave. Uh... So it's it, you, we can't have the heating on. It's like it's, yeah, it's yeah. on or off. But we have bought the temperature controls and stuff. Yeah. It's just time to fit it. Isn't it? Yeah. And the the diverter valves and all that sort of stuff. Not yeah. Not properly researched where the diverter valves go to because we've got two pipes coming out of the boiler. So anyway, hence um. We should switch your sound off in the phone. <laughs> yeah, well, what if but then what uh... the alarm goes off, yeah. Um, John Faith said, do you have a list of items you require as people may donate items they no longer require? Um, mm. So we did have an absolute car oh, full yeah. of stuff um, from a guy called Mally who messaged me on Instagram. Like, I had a, an old wooden boat and I've got loads of stuff here. You know, come up and get it. So uh, the other week, Simon goes up in the car, <laughs> in my car, he come back and there was not an inch of space left in the car. And he said, there's still stuff there that, that he, he's give us. I was expecting a couple of things. Yeah. In. And he's give us chop saws and the, um, the big yeah. grind. It's basically, pipe, yeah. Loads. Circular and saws, chop saws, pipe. Pumps, loads of like bits of copper nails and, and pumps, copper nails, robes, flotation suits, flotation suits, work suits, 
PPE. Yeah. Basically, so, it's just like it's it's just amazing. Yeah. So, so thank you. I, but yeah. and and a little you know, used. We did. We were doing the Amazon wish list, but there's there's nothing that we need at the moment, is there? Um, mm -hmm. Copper nails. If anyone knows where I can buy copper nails from, that's that's the only future thing that we're going to need. No, no, no. Nails and nerves. You sell them on eBay. We're pretty good at eBay. But I'd rather go like proper. Yeah, like, we want to go straight. You can't trust straight, some, some, straight You can't trust some of the things you buy on eBay. No, we no. bought a boat that said no, it was. I've, <laughs> I've been there with like bolts and stuff in the past, and then. Um, it's almost nice to be able to track where the material is coming mm. from or get repeated yeah do you guys have the original blueprints we do we've got no we haven't got the original blueprint not from from the, the, the original bow we've got loads of floor pans yeah that's from the 80s oh, okay. that's from the we've got um, all the all the technical drawings from the 80s when she was converted from from the html well she's still a html but into mm -hmm. what she is now yeah um, all them sort of drawings. We've got really files good. and files, and yeah. we've got the amount of receipts we've got for what it costs for the conversion back in the eighties. I'm like, oh, and this was in the eighties. It doesn't files, cost us that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where do I find the Amazon shop list? There's not an in the shop list, and yeah. there's not one we need. So I'm not putting stuff in save for the save, sake of save, it. No. So there won't be anything in the Amazon shop list for a while. Watch because him, he can help you as well. Some. Yeah, we like Leo. But Leo some, is fantastic. Yeah. Like, what? Leo, Leo is, is absolutely he's perfection isn't absolutely he? perfection yeah. and that's not what we're, we're not we're not aiming for perfection we're aiming for a, a, our boat that we can go yeah i don't really want to use stainless steel nails because i want to keep it copper like to original i know i know we're not keeping it original and stuff but no, i don't but want copper it copper works copper's good and i yeah. don't want to put another Different type of metal to it. Uses screw fix, screw fix Screw fix cell. Oh, do they? No, these are like square nails. Square nails. I'm mm. sure they've got a very technical name with a row which you pin over. They're basically like big rivets. Yeah. Travis Perkins sell them. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Um. Teresa, no, if you go, uh, what are you reading? Mm. Sorry, we're awful, aren't we? <laughs> Um, can Marie Fixon's drop a note to Leo? I have dropped a note to Leo in the past, and he's not bothered. Um, he was a little bit. He's just too busy. He can't he reply to people. Yeah, you know the amount of following he has. And now we all have to travel. Are you going to go and see the Medusa? Right, the, we are. We are. We, I speak to Alan from the Medusa near enough every day on like little messages, and he sends me photos. He sent me one today. Actually, with all our old crew yeah. on the boat. Yeah. Wow. Um. Our plan is hopefully to go and show my driver. I want to go over to the Medusa before we get into the big works because I think by going to visit and have a walk around the Medusa, it might help us and it makes us go, oh wow, what you know. I think we're going to go on there and go. Well, it's totally different. Or, that, I don't know. that should be there, but it's there yeah. and that should be there. And because there's, I think mean, there's a lot of add ons. Well, there is a lot of add ons in there, but, yeah. but even on the, but, on the whole, I think there's. Yeah, but definitely. I'm, I'm hoping next month um, uh, well, we're gonna, when the kids are off school. To hopefully we can that. make a video of it. I feel like that would be amazing. I'm sure you'd like us to do a quick walk tour. Or yes. Oh. Um, Gaffer 68. Hi uh, from Devon. Bought you a couple of coffees. Keep up the great way. Thank you so much. Thank you. These are all, you don't have to do it, really. I'm stressing this. See, um, so there was a lot of people saying about go Travis Perkins, all sort of stuff. I think it's just, they're, they're not a normal male, they're not, no, you know, like, like square and you have to I move. Think, and, um, have Alan, to Alan has told me a place to get them from, though, so I need, I need to okay. kind of just sit and look at house. Have you any big companies approach you for sponsorship? No, no, I, no. Keep, I keep sort of we keep hoping to are gonna give us loads of tools. I've got some don't. really old, what a, um, let's say six years ago, DeWalt. So six years ago, we bought like a load of Dewalt stuff to me, all brand new because we were sick of wires, <laughs> and I've still got them. But 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 over the years, we've, we've sort of replaced them. Yeah. We now now we've basically taken those to the boats, but they are dying. They're so slow. How many boats can Travis Perkins sell? <laughs> 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 Great. Um, so yeah, what? So 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 yeah, so yeah, I keep I keep mentioning on film like oh there's you think the battery's flat but it's not you know, like it's just uh, we, yeah, have, we haven't approached it we have had 
we've had Nipex send, uh, send yeah, us some okay. tools, yeah. um, the cutters and the wire strippers. I've always Do known you know I've always known the Nipex has been my and do you know what they've done fantastic. Um we they are and I'm not just saying it because they sent us them for free, but they they were great. Mm. And we used the cutters, didn't we, to cut some um the copper nail on the other day. Yeah, which is like it was a, a six and a half mil nail. <laughs> I'm not going to say it flew through, but no, it's like, it but went through. For the amount that we've got to do, we, get some bulk we could do with some bulk cutters. <laughs> oh, no, no, but we've got our, um, our multi tool. Yeah, we have got to do our multi tool. That'll, that'll make, that'll make some um, We also had the burner for the, the central heat and sent to us by yes, uh, yeah. EOGB, which was fantastic. Like, I yeah, found them trying to. This, and, um, I found them just trying to like a little bit of discount. And he was just like, I'll send you one for free. There's one. And yeah. I, again, I'm on the phone going, oh, my God, really? <laughs> I couldn't yeah. couldn't believe it, you know what I mean? Uh, do you want a new drill, Simon? No. No, we don't. We, honest <laughs> to God, we don't need anything off you. Uh, just, just your views and just put a little like just in the little button. Email the old for me and say, look, these um, guys are like, you get committed to a certain brand, don't you? Yeah, we're, we're, yeah we're, because we're, of the we're batteries doing, and all that, so they do yeah. suck you in. We've got like, oh, you, you, should, you should try um, Milwaukee. Um, or whatever, or whatever. Yeah, <sighs> health and safety. Yes, I'm for any advice on how not to bang your heads. Health and safety is quite an, um, a gripe for those, isn't it? No, it's not. No, it's I, not. I get it it's, completely. We're, yeah, we're not stupid people. Mm. We've we've we work with tools every day of our lives, right. you know, and. It's, we haven't just come from an office job and bought a boat. Um, we know when we need to use PPE and when we don't. Yeah. And, you know, there was a comment, gloves and this and this and this. It's like, I mean, we've, apart from me falling in it and my leg, and he bangs his head a few times. Yeah, but what PPE not... could you have worn to stop you falling and hurt your leg? No. You couldn't. If you had gloves on, oh, yeah. would, would you have... Oh. Do you want a new Lamborghini, Simon? No. no. Ferrari. <laughs> I, I used to work for Ferrari when when I'm a, when when I left school. I used to, so it was a company. It was a company specialised in high end high end cars, and it was always the Ferraris. But we had to work on Lamborghinis as well, and they were just like rusty. So Sam, Sam, and Sam, like if you want to buy Simon a car, Simon's dream car is an Audi Quattro. A Quattro Sport, like the old one from like the eighties. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, people will know what a Quattro is. But somebody will will mention it. They know what a quattro is, but yeah. I'm not understand why. Push. I think I could think of a supply of DeWalt batteries. We always need DeWalt batteries. Oh, don't no, don't be asking. No, no. Yeah. Safety third. I like that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would think a supply of DeWalt batteries will come in. Handy. We use loads of DeWalt batteries, yeah, and like we we dr no, we don't need batteries. But do you know what? The cheap ones as well on eBay. Are quite good. Oh, they're really good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, have you guys thought about getting a sponsor from KFC? I did email them. Yeah. <laughs> did you reply? Probably for you. You all full of drugs. You know, I'd love to try it. She's know. got the money. She's. <laughs> um, no, KFC weren't interested, so they're not getting plugged on YouTube videos. How are all right? Yeah. For the next two quarter, it'll be a Lamborghini tractor. I'd love a tractor. I, no, I want a tank. I want, I've always wanted a tank. What, kind of, what kind of tank do you want, Jem? I'm just seeing if she knows any names of any tank ever. No, a, a green one. A, a green one. Okay. <laughs> um, my favorite car is a Porsche. Show your base, Porsche Sport. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, Porsche 9, 9 are you planning on is it, is it back to the boat question? Get off the stupid cars. Um, are you planning on taking a sailing course or seamanship course? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think definitely. We're both going to do it. Yeah, I'm a yeah. challenger. See, challenge is good. Like yeah. gas turbine. Did they have them on the Amazon? I can throw in the wishes. Yeah. Um, model. <laughs> yeah, think so don't say model. And Peter, don't you dare send me a model of a of a, of a tank because he will. Oh, a tank. Peter's are. Yeah. Put. Yeah, Peter, post the Amazon wish list down. Uh, <laughs> um, I've just asked, where's the question gone? Oh, yeah, so seamanship course. Yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, when we first bought the boat, we thought you've got to have some sort of license to be able to drive Don't this have, boat this big. But then, actually, now you look into it, you don't need a boat. You don't need a license to drive a boat at under 24 metres. Which I think, personally, is dumb. Uh -huh. I mean, you could, you could 
devastate with that boat. Yeah. You could do some serious problems and yeah. environmental as well. So it's like, no, it's pretty important that we have. Yeah. Have you come across any engravings in the original woods work from World War II? Um, the weight plate at the top, that is original, no. but it's being scrubbed out. Obviously, the 59 ton has been scrubbed out and 31 has been replaced. It? Yeah, well, it's been replaced. I haven't even noticed that. Um, but, I've noticed the 31 ton. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all there. Um, okay. Do you remember a couple of videos back when we was in by the Amelia's cabin and we were looking first time we'd ever concealed what was underneath the floor and there's all them bags of ballast but we found them yeah. little tiny switches oh yeah, yeah, yeah right yeah. there's two of these little tiny switches and we were like don't know what it does yeah. they're original yeah. alan actually messed from the medusa messaged me and said do you realize them switches are original so oh, cool. i think they Not might the I think that original. might be the only original <laughs> part of it so we need to get them Switches, yeah, and reading and like something that I would like to make kids. sure is that Alan's got enough. <laughs> you know what I mean? Have but, you got enough, Alan, of the switches? Because if that's the only original part, yeah. we the need to the holes are original. original. I know, but I want a little. They could be our light switches in the living room and the dining room. Yes, oh, thank you so much. You probably, yeah. Buy yourselves a pint. <laughs> Do you know what? We don't drink. We'll buy ourselves two cups of tea. <laughs> two costas. Um, Oh my god, oh, Rolf! Stop sending us loads. Of, you know, you, I love you. I love you, but you don't have to do it. And um, have you ever got a question about VHF or other communications? Let me know. Thank you so much. So I do want to go and do the VHF course as well. Obviously, yeah. I think you you emailed the RYA, didn't you? I've emailed someone. Yeah, it was the RYA. They do an online course. So we are going to do it, but we yeah. actually we switched it on the other day. We didn't press any buttons and we didn't uh. play with anything, but <laughs> it was working and we could actually hear. Know, we could hear like conversations go going on and stuff. So that was quite cool. Top secret. Go away, squad. That's what <laughs> we're not. We're not trying to do any in half our or bodge jobs. We so we want to get the proper training. On everything that we can. Well, it's not like it's safety as well. It's like, what happens if something goes wrong? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Sort of, yeah. Who do you call? Hello. Yeah. And obviously, yeah. from an insurance point of view, if we're both like captains or whatever. Um, can you have two captains? I don't know. Too many chiefs, not enough Indians. <laughs> need some Indians. Do you have any plans for the outsides of the boat, colour wise or design? Grey. Battleship Grey. Yeah, I think it's going to go grey. Yeah. It's got to go grey, hasn't it? Yeah. Because um, it's like original. Uh, when, when, the, what color to, was the original though? The original was like a. I'm not going to say duck egg blue because that's like no. It was like, it was a grey. but it was a grey. But I don't think it's going to go the same grey, is it? Gemma, I am a full amateur radio license holder. Shouts back and health. Thank you so much. Uh, I have an iPhone. Mark. I don't use iPhone. I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a Samsung girl. Man. Um, but. The, the design of it, we're trying to, we're gonna just try and put it back to eighty, like the eighties conversion. Yeah. Um, we're still fighting over the bulwark, so I think they should go back on. Simon's like they should go back to that plywood yeah, well, yeah. thingy. Can you see it this? looks nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. So obviously, this is the original hole here, and I think if that wasn't there, it'd be too. Hmm. It'd look wrong. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But then, because we're still toying with the idea of like railings because my point of view is that like, i can sit on the deck and i can still have a nice view because on, the, 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 you want that end don't you oh am i only getting one end yeah half a ship <laughs> well was really done talking to me <laughs> <laughs> so whether yeah i don't know i i don't know with the ball was that the question was it the color no it was about the design and okay the design. so yeah. yeah i think i think she's going back basically as she was. Battleship Grey with a target on the bow. <laughs> I, might, I might put a helipad on the roof just for a laugh. Yeah. You know, like. <laughs> do you have any pictures or video of the boat when she was up and working? We do. Go on our Facebook um, thing. And she was working. Oh, no, no, but we've got photos of when she was in the water, when she yeah, captured oh, yeah, the, the, yeah. The, the little midget submarine. Yeah. Uh, also, there is a song, what well, our song on here, and it's like two minute long, but it's got all the old pictures on that as well. Mm. Um, so pop out because obviously it's not in the, the normal playlist, the song, but it's like a two minute video. Um, can you sing, a, can songs. You just sing me a little bit? No, just like, so. everyone will leave. Go on. No. Sing. <laughs> right. So there's loads of old I pictures. I can't remember the song. How does it go? Oh, 
Um, I'm telling her it's a bit. <laughs> I, I will not say coffee on live on YouTube. You can sort off. Um, <laughs> I've never even heard Simon sing. Um, time, time to take the time for fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for your lovely donation and uh, I just I just can't thank you enough. Um what about modern warship camo? <laughs> well like the the broken Yeah. No that's not it. No, it doesn't suit the theme does it? Uh the bull Oh those get quite a confusion. Act as safety railings and spray dodgers. Yeah I like that the yeah. spray dodger. Um, White paint will make her look bigger, grey is used mm. to make them harder to Vanish. see. What's it? We've got some stuff like Guy Martin. Guy Martin, have you spoken to Guy Martin? I love Guy Martin. Guy, Guy Martin, too. He's Martin. just like. I love the stuff he does, and, and we just watched the thing he did on Sunday night, didn't we? Yeah. Um, he's ace. He's just like a normal bloke yeah. who's just like got a few screws loose and. Sounds like you, Race, race, race TT. <laughs> I don't know, Race TT. Yeah, race TT. I'm with Gemma on the railings. Yeah, ah. I want to be able to sit on a deck and put my yeah, feet over the look, edge. It won't look right. No, but. This, this won't be there. But I want to sit there and put my feet over the edge. Do it at the back. Well, no, okay, well, no. <laughs> no. If this is a working end, part of this is going to be removal. A big door or something. So you know, a big door. Yeah. So then, but then it is structurally. And the uh, spray dodger. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, right, okay. How long have we been on for? Because we're just chatting absolute pants. Yeah, there's still people An hour? Here. An hour and five minutes? There's still people here. There is, there is. But feel free to I go think, for a time. I break think or um, <laughs> 641. Yeah, I thought it was good. It's amazing. Going, 496 mm. likes. Keep them coming. Like, yeah. like, press the button if you haven't. I'm just going to shout Stop. <laughs> hey, You know what? I don't like that, you know, when so, people yeah. on YouTube press the button. Press the button. So if you want to press it, you'll press it. Um, you? like, <laughs> peer pressure. Peer That's what it is. Is. Don't be peer pressure. Before you put LEDs, please check out what to do to them to make them last longer. I'm with Simon on the bulwarks. Uh, I read something about the bulwarks and speed. That caught my attention. Oh, speed. okay. Where's that gone? Where crap are these comment like finds them, aren't we? Yeah, you scroll past it. Have I got, uh, do we need to go back down? No, I don't want to go down. Can you pull that back on again, please? <laughs> um, go faster, stripes, you mean? No. No. I'm excited. Do they have to make it go faster? <laughs> Should we have like a poll? What? The lights just nearly fell. It's in the face. Uh, Your granddad's on. There you go, Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So yeah, we've, got, we've got this like random light. Because it's dead dark in this room. But we're sort of hanging it over my face, which is <laughs> quite good, really. <laughs> <laughs> right, sorry, right. State, what are what are the state of your deck gear? When you say deck gear, do you mean? Bollard still. Oh, God, press the best of the rubbish it. Uh, they're all and fantastic. It's what they're attached to. Mm -hmm. Is the problem? Um, but the ones that are on are good. But yeah, they're fantastic. Yeah, I think we've got potentially quite a bit of. Yeah, maybe you could stagger good. the bulwarks from high to low. The best of both worlds. And make it look <sighs> That's sleek. actually a good idea. Mm -hmm. So people, I think people can see what I can see. Yeah, is that part of our song? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not singing it, go away. Um, uh, oh crap. But yeah, okay. Yeah, so, so if it's for the front, so like a spray dodger at the front, and then like you can have your railings down there. But also, I, I've also been saying as well, from when you're actually in command in the in the wheelhouse, you can actually see better if yeah. that's not there. So maybe you could just go halfway up, then a rail at the top, but I don't know. Yeah, because we don't... Obviously, that was what the biggest problem was with the boats. They failed, and that's why all the water's coming. So, we yeah. want to make if we're going to put them back, they're going to be stronger than what they were. Um, yeah. I've just seen one from Dick Tate. Simon, such a beefcake. What? You're such a beefcake. Is that... <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, beefcake? You're a beefcake, a little hot It's good. He's good, my husband. Um, how was sleeping on the boat? I enjoyed it. it it was it was freezing in the morning. I, I didn't want to get nights on the boat. Yeah, I didn't want to get it out of bed. But we, I think we picked a really good night for it because there was no winds. Because I'm yeah. a, I hate I can't sleep if there's any noises. And I thought and I've got like tarpaulins on the roof and stuff like and that. And 
It was silent, wasn't it? The yeah. what, it, it was really... That was well, that particular night, we actually floated as well. Yeah, we did. So, like, we actually... Because it was quite high water, wasn't it? So, so we actually floated, but we didn't even... I'm sure the boat must have moved, mm -hmm. but we didn't even notice it moved, did we? What was her original top speed? Not clear. I'm sure Alan would know, but... They were quite fast, weren't they? I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. I do know this. So, somebody's somebody's somebody telling me 12 knots. No, I think 12 knots is what she can do now. No, I don't know. No, I think I think she, she did. Anyone else know? She did. She did twelve knots mm. in military spec, but she was a lot heavier and she had yeah. less power. Yeah, because she was like sixty ton. Well, boat weight, boat weight. Is this what it can carry? Because like you buy a van, it's three and a half ton van. Yeah. But they don't weigh three and a half ton. They can carry three and a half ton all that weight. It can be three and a half ton. So a boat is similar. So is the it feels like she's got about 30 ton of ballast in her. Oh, my God. <laughs> You'll see in, in not yeah. not this week, next week's video. We're going to try and calculate <sighs> how much ballast she's got as well. She's got quite a bit. But anyway, speed-wise, as I was saying, she's, she had basically 300 horsepower, military spec, and now she's got... 580. 580 horsepower. Not that horsepower means speed, because it's, it's primarily Talk. about the hull, but... I, and the I said the torque, is that right or not? Yeah, yeah. I just sometimes I just torque say words. Wind, torque wins races, BHP <laughs> sells engines. It Does it cost anything to keep her where she is? No, and that is why we are not in a rush to move her. No. Um, we are trying I to do. Look at me more. <laughs> do you want to swap the, have we swapped the light across in the comments? Um, stand, so. Did this ship have depth charges? Yes, she did. Yeah. She had depth charges and. Big guns yeah, and stuff I have like that. I trying to make some replicas. You can't have any put a replica death charger and a gun on that. Yeah, yeah, it's better. Than that. <laughs> okay. I want us to work though. I don't know, like actually detonate, but make it you know, like a bit of a splash in the water and stuff like that. And then we can get back and recover it. Water cannons, isn't like it? Compressed air or yeah. something. Uh, so it sinks, right? So, so it goes below the surface, and then this air canister does so. <laughs> Right, we, I think we we've chatted enough because I think I think we've been on for an hour and eleven oh, yes minutes. You can. What does that mean? We've still got people watching. I know, but people won't stop watching until we switch it off. So we they just have do. to go. When everyone do you goes, know what? you go first. <laughs> you put it down. Is this first. like when you're on the phone? So like, so you hang up first. Yeah. You can't do that. Uh, right. Hold oh, on. Do you know the real story of your boat? Yeah, we did. We know quite a bit of the story. Yeah. Um, which is really really fascinating, and I put it in every every description of every video in case you've yeah, missed yeah. it. Yeah, okay. uh, all all the history on her and stuff like that. A couple of forty-five gallon drums on the back. I've got two. I've got two at the moment that we'll use for ethanol. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't know what is light. So they're used for ethanol. They've still got ethanol in them. I've been dying to like <gasps> my <laughs> my store. I have an explosive explosive license. Sweet. So if we could do some sort of pyrotechnics, make it look yeah. <laughs> a, bit, a bit close to legal, illegal, I don't know. Be fun. I'm on the lookout for an extra Russian warship on eBay. Go for it. If you see one, just do it. Come just, park just it next to it. us. Yeah. Got a lovely spot. Hello. Uh, KFC tonight. Yeah, about our tea. You I had, you've had <gasps> Sandra, female. Oh, there's Nicola. I don't know. Do you know, it's 95% of our... Um, of our audience, audience is, is male. It's strange, isn't it? Yeah. So I love seeing females comment. It's just so nice. Um uh all I'm saying is Captain Sully. Oh, hold on a minute. Park Nest. All I'm saying is that I'm older than Simon and Gemma. I don't know what you're replying to do. I just read your comments. I'm just being nosy and listening gagging in on your conversation. Um uh, gagging in. I'm scouts. gagging in and gagging in. Uh are there any records of service related deaths on board? Um, no, I don't no, think it is. Which is strange. No, and Alan had did, did, earlier on sent me the, the our cruise company photo. Yeah. Um, I'll put that on the Facebook. I think as well, if you go on the Medusa, on the, the Medusa website yeah. is just a wealth of knowledge on it's every fantastic. boat. On yeah. it's got information on loads of boats. But when we first, when we think before we actually bought it, we went on his website, didn't we? Yeah. Um, and, and we saw all this, all this information. We read yeah. for it. And I think I. Yeah, we'll yeah, go back to being a blonde. Might be better than the grey I've got going on at the minute. Like, <laughs> 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 I could say jokes like, "Did you die? Your roots black?" 
<laughs> See what I'm going on. No. Um, thanks for sharing the adventure. It's a Friday night highlight. Thank you so much. It's just... Submarine. I've always yeah. wanted to... No, I have genuinely always wanted to build a submarine. Yeah. Peter said, maybe Simon needs to take his top off and attract the women. Yeah. 20 quid. 20 quid. <laughs> Simon, I'm a fussy. On, if you want the link to Simon's OnlyFans, <laughs> uh, sorry, um, need a moderator. I know I, I did say to my dad to be a moderator, but he didn't know how to do it, and I didn't know how to do it. We're all learning. What does that do? It's to like, I don't know, sort the comments and stuff. Um, is that a spider on the wall behind you? People still keep saying this. Can somebody point? Wait, hold on, is wait. it on the. Let me just say. Are you looking at that? There. That's a hole. It's not in the wall, but it's on the... Okay, there's no spider there, and if there was, I wouldn't be here, so... Um, good night. Looking forward to the next video. See people I did actually start now. reading something about SV. And then you said to me, I think it's something about, have you watched SV? Yeah, yeah. I've watched all yeah. of SV Seeker. Fantastic. Yeah. If you're into boats and real-world, like, building a boat, mm. watch SV Seeker. Um, nice right, to okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say we're wrapping this up. Um, I'm well, sure give him five minutes now. <laughs> no, spies, it's a large moth, it might be a crack in my wall. <laughs> no, we're gonna go. <laughs> I say I, submarines is interesting. Simon has though. always, always wanted to build a submarine, but like. What happens if you test it and it fails? And <laughs> it's stuck. Insured. Um, yeah, it's insured. It's definitely YouTuber. <laughs> Can you do a video starting the engines again? Yes. Yeah, we will. I, I think next time we've got big water, we'll we'll do another another video. No, but I understand engines. I want to do it right. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, we don't want to just crank it over without fully yeah, inspecting them. And we're, we're it, need... It's like when Simon buys a race bike. No matter where it's been and what it's done, he takes it back to the workshop and he strips every part of it down. So we don't want to keep cranking I'm gonna, the engines. I'm not going to build these engines no, 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 unless no. we have to. But we want to at least do a little check and a little. Well, we need we need to strategize. Know. We need to go. Okay, why why are we running the engines? Okay, we're running the engines to test the hydraulic systems which are attached to the engines. We're going to test the charging systems. We're going to test the isolators, the emergency offs. The yeah. so we actually need on. Um, yeah. yeah, but there's so much also to change the oil. I want to get the, the engines hot, but then as, as I was saying earlier, we only get enough water to run the engines for a very limited amount of time. So we're actually going to be filling up a barrel of water, aren't we? Yeah. So. So I'm going on eBay. Fans. <laughs> so thank you all so much, and for our live, first live. I know we've waffled, but we've had like. You know, 586 people still here. 519 ah, people coming 600 in. likes. So 600. there's more likes than there is viewers. Yes, okay. So thank you all so much. Thank you to anyone who has sent a donation. You just blow our minds. And it's so nice to see how many wonderful people there are likes, in the world. Yeah. So thank you all so much. Um, and Simon, well, we'll both probably see you on Friday for the, the next video. Better go and get some editing done, haven't I? Yeah, better go and do the video. <laughs> So thank you. If you just want to keep putting questions in, I will come back and answer them uh, mm. in the comment section. So um, I don't know how long it takes for this live to go back on just YouTube. Just to say as well, I was having quite a lot of anxiety about doing this. Yeah, he was. Do you know, like, was. getting a bit like... Blah, blah, blah. But thanks, it's been good. And I was, I don't know, I was expecting some random, like, hard questions. <laughs> and, you're like, and I was in preparing to say no comment. He's, been, like, dead, <laughs> he's been dead stressy all day, Simon. I'm, sorry, and I'm like, stop being so anxious. Think, no, but we all, we all get anxiety, don't we? I'm we're saying, with yeah. stuff. Gemma hates going over bridges, especially if there's a tiny wind. bit of wind. So I always refer to it as like, it's like your windy bridge. And she goes, oh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I know. And I'm yeah. trying to say, Simon, if anyone asks a question that I don't want to answer, we won't have to answer it. Yeah. Simple. So, but uh, yeah, we are in. Um, okay. Yeah, right. Piss off. Okay. Thank you very much, Steve. Right, that's our cue to go. Thank you all so much. These are all fantastic. See you soon. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. How'd you end it? There you go. Oh, Kyland. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>